Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Brittany Smith, and welcome to Mox News. This is Thomas Ramsey with Mox News. The Hunter Lecture Series will host Newark, New Jersey Mayor Cory Booker this Thursday. Mayor Booker will speak on community building, urban transformation, and his time in the mayor's office. The folks in that community were so powerful in my life. I have to say, still to this day, uh, I always say I got my BA from Stanford, but my PhD in the streets of Newark. The lecture will be held at the Roland Hayes Concert Hall Thursday at 7 p.m. Admission is free and open to the public. Seating is limited. For more information, visit www.benwood.org. More than 500 students attended a bonfire at Chamberlain Field Wednesday to get pumped up for a game this weekend. Power 94 providing music and giveaways from the Mox train built up excitement for a hopefully big win against Samford this Saturday, November 13th at 2 p.m. in Finley Stadium. Hello everyone, I'm Brittany Smith with Mox News. This Friday will be UTC's annual fall visit day. This program is sponsored by admissions for prospective students and their families. They will venture on a campus tour, attend academic department fairs, student organizational fairs, as well as open house with residence life. This crowd is expected to be the largest at UTC with 1,600 students attending. Hello UTC Mox, I'm Donnie Swift with your weather report. Yesterday we saw record high temperatures, we saw a high of 77 degrees and that's very rare at this time of year in the month of November. Usually we would see temperatures in the low to mid 60s. So let's go into your forecast and let's see how long will these warm temperatures stay around. As we go into your forecast, Friday we're looking at a high of 74 degrees with a low of 41 degrees under beautiful sunny skies and then Saturday is UTC Mox versus Samford. We're looking at a high of 72 degrees with a low of 45 degrees on a beautiful sunny sky. So basically that's a great way to start off your weekend. Enjoy that game that day. But then we have a big change as we're looking at showers in your forecast for a Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. These showers are going to stick around. We, Sunday we're looking at a high of 66 degrees with a low of 47 degrees. Then Monday... The temperature is going to recede just a little bit. We're looking at a high of 63 degrees with a low of 49 degrees. And then on Tuesday, looking at a low of 61 degrees. So these temperatures are dramatically dropping. And then we're going to look at a low of 38 degrees. So we're going down back to those cold temperatures. And then on your Wednesday, we're looking at sunny, beautiful skies with a high of 64 degrees and a low of 37 degrees. All right, Mox, that does it for your weather forecast. As you can see, it is a little hace calor out here, but enjoy this beautiful weather. But before we conclude this weather segment, let me just give you some fashion tips. This weather is kind of going crazy. I know that everyone is saying, well, what should I wear? What should I wear? Donnie Swift, you have the weather. What should I wear? But here's the thing. These cold fronts are coming through here, and that's what allows these temperatures to actually spice up a little bit. But as the cold fronts pass through our area, that's where we're going to see the cooler temperatures. So for right now, it's going to be beautiful during the day, and it's going to be warm. But at nighttime, you're still going to need that coat or jacket. So just remember, as these temperatures do decide to change and go all over the place, you just have to stick with it there. I'm Donnie Swift with your weather report. Have a great and wonderful week. Football season dwindling down in a 5 and 4 record. The Mocs are in a must win situation if they want to make the playoffs. After a loss to number 2 Auburn last week, the Mocs are in a tight spot. They must win their final two games versus Sanford and Wofford. Without a victory versus the Bulldogs and the Terriers, the Mocs will be denied their shot at the playoffs. Should the Mocs make the playoffs, it would be the first time they've done so since 1984. With Mox News, I'm Amanda Reno. Sing is coming back to UTC for the first time since 2008. I'm Emily Kulik and you're watching Mox News. The UTC Chamber Singers are hosting All Sync Tuesday, November 16th at the UC Auditorium where sororities and fraternities will compete. The show starts at 8. Tickets are on sale in the UC by the stairs leading to the third floor. They start at $3 now and $5 at the door. All right, everyone, that's all we have for Mox News today. Thank you so much for watching us. Remember, you can also see us on Comcast Channel 3, Facebook, and MoxNews.com.